Hello everyone, uh, Richard back from Mole Panzer for Ultimate Mode. We're at Kalais. Um, I basically execute like my idea combined with Soren's initial deployment, I think. It isn't quite the same because my artillery isn't quite as good, but I end up doing something similar over here and then it deviates from there. Uh, it's really not challenging once you realize that Oladir can just take this and then you slowly close in on these hexes. Um, outside of that, I might have gotten a good hero, I don't remember. Um, and we're just basically going for XP on units. Oh, the, the traps in this region work much better for me. Let me pause here. Oh yeah, I made that change too. Okay. Uh, the way to reduce the RNG on this for me, since I don't have range plus one, is to bring a Storm Panzer. My Storm Panzers don't have a hero anyway, so bringing Storm Panzers is a good idea. Um, over here, I think the mistake Soren made when he tried to pull the mountain units out is he had experienced overstrengthened infantry, and that may not be good enough to pull the mountain units out, but if you offer up an 88 gun, uh, they will come, because that's way too tempting. So you'll watch that happen. So that's Oladir getting the job done on that flank. And these movements, I'm copying Soren exactly. The idea is to trap the tanks in the woods. And then, oh yeah! I got defense plus three on my regular infantry. That is going to be much appreciated. Defense plus three is really nice on ultimate mode. Yeah, uh, Soren had really precise movements that are better than anything I've seen so far on this map. So I highly recommend you look at his deployment. Every unit had a place. And then you start setting fighter traps. I was surprised I got attacked here, but that might be because Kesha is not 3 stars. But Kesha backed up by artillery did pretty well. My fighter traps didn't quite work the same because I couldn't blind the enemy. Oh, one thing I, I will mention here is that uh, you need to overstrengthen fighters on Manstein and Ultimate Mode. It's making a huge difference. Between my three fighters, I've taken one damage on Bar so far. I think through all of Grand Campaign 39 and 40, one damage on Bar at Sedan, I think, for three fighters that have racked up over a thousand kills, I think, between them. So. You have to overstrengthen fighters, you have to set your uh, anti-aircraft traps very accurately, and your fighters are going to destroy the enemy fighters. <clears throat> so this nifty little surrender mechanic is really good. I think Ricotta came up with it, but um, I think this is Soren's approach is more efficient and reliable, is the way I would put it. <laughs> Oh, uh, I got a movement plus one on an artillery. I think that's my second movement plus one. 
which is much appreciated. So that Samoa can't retreat into the swamps. My new defense plus three or uh, infantry had no problem taking out the tank. I kind of screwed up the right flank push, but I made it work. I, I always struggle with playing this side of the map because the terrain is extremely ugly. And I'm hitting that tank early. So yeah, the scout came out and hit my uh, paratrooper, which surprised me, but my paratrooper is not three stars. But I got an attack plus two hero out of it. So I've gotten three amazing heroes so far, and it's been three turns. I got movement plus one on artillery, defense plus three on infantry, and attack plus two on paratroopers. Um, I think that's why I kept this playthrough, because, oh, I should point this out. Okay, so here's the trap with the 88 gun. It's impossible for this infantry to ignore it, but I've got really strong artillery backing it up, so I'm not worried. Uh, and actually, one thing that was good is by the scout getting pulled out, I could kill it. So that's like one problem solved early. And I have a grenadier, which is a good choice. <clears throat> So another annoying unit is taken out. And then I hunt down the Matilda 2, which I don't want to deal with. Because it's ugly. Use the level bomber to de-entrench the tank. I might have got another good hero this battle, I can't remember. It's raining, which is annoying. However, I have so much artillery, I can still kill that infantry. You're actually not in too big of a hurry to take that tank out, because none of the other tanks will touch all the deer, so... Now the cavalry is in trouble. And 
then I'm freezing units. Answer three did well. Oh, the mountain unit came out and got stopped. So the Matilda 2 is gone, which is the most dangerous unit on the map. Another tank is gone. So that takes care of the two mountain units on six in six turns, which is really good. Then I get rid of another tank. So that's fantastic. That shit gives me all the spot I need. I'm de-entrenching the artillery so I can suppress it easily later. I should point out what went wrong with my plan over here. You're supposed to leave this hex exposed and they will come with scouts over and over again and try to hit you here. Like you put an artillery piece here and then you put your anti-tank here and they'll just keep running into ambushes. So you can get rid of two scouts that way and it will make the whole scenario go better. And that's on me for not implementing that very important part of Soren's plan. But I still made it work sloppily. I don't know why I didn't do that. I, I must have been confused. So I set a trap there to take out the uh, scout. setting traps because the Air Force activates now. But this entire region is a blind spot where I'm putting everything the the planes won't find you. Hmm. That's a almost perfectly suppressed Scout. So there was a trap that worked.
So you're probably confused about what's happening here. I'm actually allowing that plane to survive because I can farm kills with my 88 gun, who has nothing else to do this battle. So it's squeezing some extra value out of the AI here. And I think it's brilliant. So I'm positioning myself. I have a lot of artillery. So yeah, I'm just de-entrenching systematically. And just like that, the armor is gone. got initiative plus one on the Panzer III. Personally, I think that's a great hero. I'm a big fan of initiative heroes. They don't get handed out too often. So two of my three SE units have initiative plus one. I think that's going to prove to be very nice. As you can see, I just keep farming that flame. Now I have to try to get rid of the artillery. I think my 88 gun gets to three, two stars at the end of the battle, so that's nice. This, these types of farming techniques you need to be looking for on ultimate mode.
I'm trying to pull that infantry out to engage in combat with me. Nope, no, it didn't happen. So, my 88 gun hits two stars after this attack. Which is amazing. That 88 gun was super busy, this, this battle. So I got three great heroes, um, Bar is still not two stars, he's three, yeah this guy is three stars, that's other good news, my second fighter got the three, he got the two, the 88 gun got to two stars, I took three points of damage on him, Did I only take... I only took three points of damage on him, and that's because the scout came out and attacked him. So that's really good. I think you can get a decisive victory with no damage if you're very careful. Especially with pulling the scouts in this trap that Soren points out. Um, you can probably do the whole map with no damage. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight artillery plus a level bomber. So, a lot of suppression to kind of grind through this. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Kalace. Let me know what you think. Until next